Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry says he remains cautiously optimistic about our local coronavirus numbers. The mayor and other health officials also talking about planning for a hurricane and sheltering residents during the pandemic. Tarek Miner listened to the mayor's news conference and joins us now in the studio. Tarek. With a potentially developing tropical wave that could become a hurricane and impact us here in Florida, local leaders are, are talking about how they would handle sheltering local Floridians while still maintaining the CDC guidelines. The mayor also says the latest statistics show that Jacksonville could be closer to flattening the curve. The recent surge seems to be stabilizing and even, trend, even trending downward in some hospitals, some facilities. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry highlighting the positives locally while the state reports another record-setting day of COVID-19 deaths, 186 in the past 24 hours. Curry, however, says Jacksonville's positivity rate is dropping, which could signal the virus is slowing down. COVID-19 hospitalizations remain stable, and they have been now for several days. They're not declining rapidly, but they're also not rising. What is declining are the daily number of positive cases. These factors make us cautiously optimistic. Curry said locally 481 people are currently hospitalized with COVID-19 and 106 people remain in intensive care. With the threat of a tropical system impacting Jacksonville in the coming days, the mayor and other leaders are looking ahead. The director of the Emergency Operations Center was asked how his office would handle sheltering local residents. Generally, we open anywhere from eight to 12 shelters. Uh, we have 29 shelters in our inventory, so we have uh, good capacity. Uh, we're also looking at uh, doing screening of people who would be coming to a shelter. The mayor also spoke about returning to school and the importance of parents, teachers, and staff having the choice to decide their own education option. Curry was also asked about President Trump's decision to cancel the RNC and whether Jacksonville could handle such an event without the virus. I don't think this says anything about the ability of Jacksonville to host a convention. The virus began to spread community-wide, not only in Jacksonville, but throughout the state and, frankly, through other parts of our country as well. And uh, that's unpredictable. Now, the mayor said he sympathizes with the local businesses who are, who are planning on that economic impact of the RNC coming to Jacksonville. As for the optimism that Curry expressed about the percentage of positive cases being reported, Doctors say it is still too soon to tell if Florida is truly moving in the right direction when it comes to cases.